Hey guys, welcome back to another brand new video and if you are tired of facing ping issues, packet loss and network connection issues in your games, in this video we're going to be talking about how you can fix all of them. So with all that said, let's get started. My first suggestion would be using Noping. Noping is a software which will help you to optimize your internet connection in just one click. You can download Noping from the link in the description below. And once you open it up, the application looks like this. It's really compact and it is easy to use. On the left hand side, you'll find a list of over thousands of games to choose from. And you can simply look up for the game that you play the most. In my case, I play Valorant. So I'll simply search for Valorant and click on select the server. This will help me to pick the nearest server to me. Once again, the nearest server to me would be Mumbai 02 as it gives me an estimation of 7 milliseconds ping. So I'm just going to be selecting that and click on optimize this game. It will start tunneling my game right from my PC to the game servers. So in this way, we will eliminate all kinds of packet loss and ping fluctuations. It also automatically adds the UDP and TCP ports, which makes your game easier to connect to the server. And what makes Noping more special is the settings option right over here. It will help you to enable turbo games which will improve your input latency and the boost FPS. Click on it and you will have all kinds of options that will help you to improve your PC settings and registry optimization to improve your gaming performance. Firstly, I'll recommend you guys to turn off all of them in the left hand side and then the first, third and fifth one on the right hand side. All of these options will help you to reduce the services running in the background by your system and it will help you to improve your network connection and boost your FPS simultaneously. Once again, if you do not want to go to complex steps and you want to fix all of your internet issues in just one click, no ping is the best solution for you guys. I'll leave the link to no ping in the description below so you guys can go and check this thing out. Okay, step number one is using ethernet cables. Ethernet cables are physical wired cables that is connected from your PC to your router. This will help you to improve your internet speed since you're eliminating wireless transmission of internet. However, 5 GHz or 5G broadband are most commonly used in everyday router. So if you guys connect on it, you'll still have. So connecting your PC to the router using a LAN cable will always give you the least ping. And it is always better to get a ethernet cable wired from your router to your PC for gaming. Okay, so let's move to the settings now. Firstly, we'll talk about the best window settings and for that you need to open up settings on your PC. Once you're here, go to the home page and I'd suggest you guys to log out of your Microsoft account if you have already signed in. Logging yourself out will lead you to use a local account and this will turn off all kinds of Microsoft services which you do not really require and it will save a lot of system processing in the background. Then you have to locate network and internet section and you have to go to ethernet if you're using an ethernet or you can use a wireless transmission. Let's go over to ethernet and over here you have to make sure that your network profile type is set to public network and then you have to go to configure firewall and security settings. Over here you have to click on yes and it will take you to windows security. Right over here you have to go to allow an app through firewall and in this list you'll find all of the applications in your PC that utilizes your internet. Now what you have to do is click on change settings and you can now edit all of these. Now you have to look up for your game which you play on your PC. In my case it is Valorant so you have to scroll a little bit down to find Valorant in here just like that. You have to find the game that you face issues while playing this and in this list you have to click on private and public both and that should fix fluctuating ping in your games okay next step is in the control panel you have to open control panel up and in here you have to click on network and internet go to network and sharing center then click your ethernet or your wi-fi and then over here go to properties in here you have to look for the internet protocol version 4 simply double click on it and then click on use the following dns server addresses type in 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 .8 
and in the alternate DNS server type in 8.8.4.4. Once it is done, simply click on OK. Then click on properties once again, go to configure, go to power management and make sure that allow the computer to turn off this device to save power should be turned off. Then you have to go to the advanced settings and then copy this setting. ARP load off should be enabled, flow control should be RX and DX enabled, idle power down restriction disabled and interrupt moderation enabled, interrupt moderation rate low, IPv4 checksum offload disabled, jumbo packet disabled, IPv4 offload disabled, v6 offload disabled, locally administered address not present, NS offload enabled, packet priority in VLAN should be set to enable, speed and duplex auto negotiation, TCP checksum offload disabled, then everything disabled in the TCP and UDB offload, wake up on magic packet enabled, wake up on magic packet from SY enabled and wake up on packet matched enabled. Once it is done, simply click on OK and close the settings and let's move to the next step. Next step is creating a restore point and for that you need to open up create a restore point on your PC. Then look up for your local disk C. Simply click on create and name it network just so you can remember it from. I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step because it is really essential if you want to restore every settings back to normal. You can always restore it without any data loss. Last and final step is the network optimization pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. It is super important for all of you guys so simply download and open this thing up and in here you'll find in two simple files first one is the network optimizer.bat and it consists of collection of the best commands to optimize your internet connection on your pc and this will be really really helping you guys to improve your network connection throughout your gaming and this will give you the best connection from your pc to the server so i highly recommend you guys to run it as an administrator next one is the msi module v3 you have to run this thing as administrator once again and once it opens up what you're looking for is your ethernet or your wi-fi in here so my ethernet cable is listed on the bottom what you have to do is click on the msi button in front of it and then you have to set your internet priority to high once it is done, simply click on apply and then close the MSI Utility V3 and you're good to go. So guys, I hope this video helps you out. If it does, make sure to do leave a like and smash the subscribe button down below. Do let me know if this helped you out or not. Also, we have introduced channel membership on the channel. So if you guys are new around here and you want to show some love and support towards the content, you can always become a part of the channel membership. Also, do let me know if this worked for you in the comments below. We'll see you guys in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.